0.32 acres. This is at the entrance of Zion National Park. Look how cool this property is. My name is Miles McLaughlin. I work at Wilco Land. I'm going to walk through a new listing that we have available here. It's a special, unique, one-of-a-kind land investment. It's at the entrance of Zion here in Washington County, Utah. I'm going to click through a couple photos. I'm going to go over things like what you can do with the property, utilities, how to access the property. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about the property in a nutshell, and I'll leave you with that. So our business model is more self-service. Um, if you want to go visit this property, you're going to use GPS coordinates to access. Um, the, there's about 12 or so, um, maybe 24 private properties in this little area here. And, and we were looking through some photos. Um, we had a photographer take a drone out there. This will all be published on the website, but you can see the views from this property. It's off the beaten path. It's right at the entrance of Zion National Park. That's Zion back there. The Vermilion Cliffs are back here as well. And I'll pull up the property on Onyx. I'll use the GPS coordinates, all that good stuff to give you an idea of what we're looking at. So, you know, talking about utilities, <clears throat> let me go into that. This property is off grid, right? You can see back here, there's really no development. There's a couple campers, there's some folks camping. There's looks like a guy or, or you know, a female, whatever. Somebody has been living back there, a family, whatever you want to call it in, in um, you know, for a long time, whether it's grandfathered in or not, or if it's just that type part of the country, right? So you can see a few little structures back here, maybe a little bit of land use, but this is an unimproved subdivision. So somebody came back here and they didn't finish the subdivision. Um, I believe right down here, where you're looking along this stretch here is one of the properties, the property that I'm talking about right now. We do have a second lot that, and there's, there's some more cool views. I mean, 360 views from this property. Um, you go back here. I suggest SUV. Our photographer suggested an SUV to get back here. It is dirt roads. It's behind Eagle Crag Trailhead. So going more into the you know zoning and what you can do with this property, this property doesn't have any zoning. It didn't, the subdivision didn't get finished. So somebody ran out of money, somebody quit, you know, the process. Whatever happened is this area didn't get finished. So it's kind of wild west back here. Um, hence, they don't allow buildings. So you can't come back here and build a million dollar mansion. That's that's just the county's not going to allow it right now. Uh, if you wanted to buy the subdivision and finish it or, or do whatever needs to be done, put, put um, sewer in and, you know, fire hydrants, whatever they require to finish the subdivision, maybe everybody could build on their properties. Their values would skyrocket. Right now, that's not the case. So land use, camping allowed, RVs allowed, trailers. So it's a good camping lot. It's off the beaten path. You're back here. You're You're secluded. Uh, nobody's going to be messing with you back here. You're right at the entrance of Zion National Park, like I said. Another drone video. I think we got a good idea of what we're looking at in terms of landscape. This is our photographer parked. Um, he actually didn't take his car back into the property. This is when he started to walk, I believe. So he just got out and walked. He said it was about a half a mile back here. So you can see from ground level now what it looks like. Again, just kind of walking back here. We're getting photos of the roads. We're seeing what that looks like. That brings me into my next subject is access. So I offer a self-service real estate model. And what you're going to use is the GPS coordinates to access this property. Let me give you a bird's eye view of where we're at. We're right outside of St. George. We're just west of Kanab, Utah. You can see Zion is, is literally right here. Eagle Crag Trailhead's right here. I have this pulled up on Onyx as well. And I'll show it to you on Onyx. But... In terms of access, all you're doing is copying and pasting these GPS coordinates into Google Maps. And you can see there's a road that goes back here. And that dirt road comes through here. Let me show you on Google Earth a little bit better. So you get past the trailhead up here. See Eagle Crag Trailhead. Some views. You get off the main road in Rockvale. You come back here on Eagle Crag's Road all the way back and you take a right on 200 E and that brings you down. You pass somebody's residence that brings you down here to the property. So this is what we're looking at here on Google Earth. Take this off so you can get a little bit of a look at the topography. So you've got this road. Um, look for natural features in the landscape. When you go out there, it's going to be hard to actually recognize where you're at. So I suggest using an app like Onyx. You know, something that's going to be a natural feature is this kind of boulder in here. If you go straight down from the top of that, we're right here in the middle of the property. Google Earth has a ruler as well. You can measure the property out. So, for example, it's about 70 yards wide. Oops. 
and it's about 50 yards long. So we're looking at 0 0.3 acres. Like I said, a little over that 0 0.3 acres. Last thing I wanna do is show it to you on Onyx. You can see I have the GPS coordinates already plugged in. All I'm doing is, is looking those up. And on Onyx, Onyx is really cool because it shows land ownership and property lines. So let's say you're worried about losing cell phone connection out here. Download the map before you go. Onyx is a free trial. I have a blog on my blog page about Onyx, how to use it, how you can benefit from um, using Onyx in these land visits. So here's actually the property that the subject property, the ownership hasn't changed um, into Wilco's name. We just bought it 0.33 acres. And um, this is actually the other parcel. We're keeping this one 0.29 acres. You know, it was a tough call. I wasn't sure which one to keep. You know, hopefully it's the right one, but that just gives you an idea how cool the area is back there. Um, if you're really interested in owning both of these, let me know. Um, we might be able to work out a deal, but I'd like to keep one too and use it. You know, maybe once a year I'll get out there and camp. So it, like I said, it's one of a kind, it's pretty rare. There's not a lot of private ownership back here. You can see these parcel lines. There's only, these are all the owners back here. And if I zoom out, everything around it, this is BLM land. So you're in the Horse Valley Ranch. You know, you've got Eagle Crags Trail coming through here. Look as I zoom out, everything around you is BLM land. I mean, it's a Mecca of outdoor recreation behind you. The Vermilion Cliffs are over here. You know, BLM land every, I mean, look at all these trails, common trails being used. So um, as I zoom out more and more, Utah is known for its public lands. I mean, this is a prime example. Um, here's a small little niche of private ownership and then all public lands around you. That's what makes this super cool. You know, I think about yurts. I think about, you know, kind of a camping spot, you know, rent it out to people going to Zion or keep it up for yourself. It's a really cool spot back here. So again, to access it, you're using GPS coordinates. Um, you know, if you're going to use an app like Onyx, when you're out here, you know, your phone will actually be tracking you. So do you see how my cursor, as you walk the property, your, your dot on your phone tracking you will actually kind of walk along with these property lines. Make sure you have layers. You'll need to make sure your layers are on there. So Utah private lands, this is a pro version on Onyx. So you're going to need to, you know, use a free week trial. Or you're going to need to pay the $60 a year membership it is. So um, it's about all I have to say about this piece of land. Um, it's something I think is really cool. Um, I talked about some potential uses. There's no utilities out here. It's off grid. You're going to be do, probably doing solar or like I said, just camping, hauling in water, things like that. The county's not going to issue building permits because it's an unfinished subdivision. Um, that's the reality of the deal. So um, everything's priced with that in mind. Um, our website's going to have a lot of these property details. If you're already looking at it, the property's probably been listed. We've got other listings in Utah as well. Um, get with us anytime. Let me know if you have questions. Miles at Wilco Land, 605-250-1256. Thanks for tuning in.